Okay, uh, welcome back. We are going to have something to print by the time you're done with this assignment today. So what I'd like you to do is to make sure that you've decided on equal intervals that go down along this column. And if you didn't want to have AM and PM written there, that's up to you. Again, you can change the font and everything that you would like to do. But what I'd like to do is to add some checkboxes. So like if you finish the task that's on the list, you can click the button and it puts a little mark there. It's not as cool as marking off a list of things to do with a four foot pencil, but it's still kind of satisfying to, to be able to click a button and show that you finished one of those tasks. So let's look at how to do that. Um, like I said, I think we're going to be printing today. So I want to take all the color, the background color out. So um, the same with you guys. Now, once we get it printed, you can go ahead and put color back into the cells if you want to. Or you can take that printed copy and color it with colored pencils or highlighters. Whatever blows your hair back. But I don't want to use a bunch of color in our printing today. Um, so we're going to just clear out the color. So I, you'll notice I highlighted it though. I highlighted those two columns. I'm going to click here on the paint bucket and click reset. Okay, so what I'd like to do then is I'd want to add a cell that's in between A and in between B. So the, the way we do that is we click the insert button, click columns, and now you have to decide do I want the column on the left or do I want the column on the right? Of course we want it to be the column on the left in this case so that it's in between those two columns, the time column and this. So I also think we should probably insert some rows as well. And you do that the same way. You just click insert and then we're going to insert a row above. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to be captain obvious right now. We're going to insert what each cell means. Okay, and so that one doesn't need anything because a checkbox doesn't necessarily mean, need a title. But over here, we're going to do activity. Okay, now our checkbox does not need a cell that's this wide. So you can, you can shimmy it over and then you have a skinny cell here. Okay, one of the things that I like to do with all of my graphs that I print out in tables is I like to select all the cells that have that will have something working in it and I like to give it a border. And of course, you guys know that those borders can be a little thicker if you want them to be. And they could be different types of borders. If you want to do something fancy schmancy, you can sure do that. But I would like to see borders that are fairly thin um, on these. Um, again, though, you're using them, you decide which way you want them to be. Okay, so say I wake up and I get my caffeinating done and I want a checkbox for that. I'm going to click in the cell I want to insert the checkbox in, click insert, and then boom, checkbox. And if I want more checkboxes, just drag that little dot, that little blue dot down, and you've got checkboxes in all those cells. So insert, boom, checkbox, drag it down. Okay. Now I have a bunch of space here, so I'm going to insert again. And trust me, if you have something to look forward to, to check off of a list as an accomplishment, it gives you a little bit of that feel good vibe. And then you're all about looking for the next thing that you're planning to do on your list instead of zoning out in front of the TV like we used to do or being on your devices steady throughout the day because we have found out that the more we um, hang out on our devices the less our brains work okay so we want to use the devices less and be humans on earth a little bit more Okay, so we've got those checkboxes in here. So if you go to print this, we're going to make it so it just prints what's on here. So I think we actually need one more row. So I'm going to click on the, the number one button here and then it, and then I'm going to click insert and row above, one row above. Okay, and so sometimes you don't want to have uh, 
sections. And so in this row, we're going to make a, a title with your name in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight those first three cells above the graph that we've started, or I should say it's a table. Okay. And then we're going to, it's not in format, I don't think. Oh, yes, it is. We're going to format, and then we're going to merge this horizontally. And now what we've done is created one wide cell um, up here where we can then enter whatever we'd like to to title this. So um, I forgot my apostrophe. Oh, I said that wrong. Apostrophe. It's going to be hard to find it on the computer here. Is that an apostrophe? It is. Okay, so I think that looks kind of hokey sitting there off to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to center it. I'd like you to center yours. And again, if you want to make it a little bit bigger because it's pretty important cell, it's the title cell. And if you maybe want to bold or something like that, that would be great. Okay, and um, then we're going to get ready to print. So you're going to click. And I can't remember exactly how to do this. So you're kind of learning with me. File, print, and then it should show you what it'll look like all printed out. Bruh, it is no good. I don't like it spilling over onto two pieces of paper. So let's fix this. Let's go like this. Instead of landscape where the longer side of the paper is this way and the shorter side is this way, let's do portrait. Maybe then it all fits on one. Oh, see, I want your schedule when you go to print it out to fit on just one sheet like this. Okay. And then you're going to click next. And of course, you're going to go through the steps that they have at school for printing. So you're going to click see more. And then you're going to go room 210 or whichever room you happen to be in. Um, I don't remember what Miss Lear's room is. But these need to be printed and turned in before the end of the class period today. And when you're done, of course, we have more for you to be working on. So I hope you had fun watching this video. Like and subscribe.